Welcome in Barcelona, Spain, for a new season of the UCI Mountain Bike Eliminator World Cup. I start as the defending World Cup uh, well, champion. Um, it doesn't give pressure. Mm, I'm no, not, not exactly. Um, I mean, I'm just focused on racing and I'm excited to start here this season. It's a new year and, and everyone's done their training and now we're excited to see where everyone's standing. And we'll just have to wait and see. There has been a fierce battle in the beautiful scene of the park of Montjuic. This goes hand in hand with crashes and sensational collisions. First, the ladies get their turn. The women's quarterfinals. In the first heat, Marion Fromberger shows that she's in excellent condition and she wins with wide lead. During the second heat, we see the Norwegian Anastre Rongve and the Spanish Sara Gay Moreno, who continue smoothly to the semi finals. In the third heat, we see the world champion Colin Closur, the Swedish Ella Holmgard, and the German Clara Brem. Clara Brem is able to tag along during the first lap, but the second lap is one too many. Corinne Closure and Elm Holmgard continue fluently to the semi-finals. During the last heat for the women, we see the European champion Irina Popova for Ukraine. Magdalena Duran Garcia and the Norwegian champion Ingrid Bo Jacobsen. Ingrid is the one who won last year's UCI Elimination World Cup. Irina Popova tries to catch up. She finishes third and does not go through. Now we go on to the men, with overall winner of the UCI Eliminator World Cup of last year, Jeroen van Eck, and world champion Titouan Perrin Gagné. During the first lap, it goes wrong really quickly for van Eck. Frenchman Kylian Demangeon falls right in front of him. Van Eck is able to continue quickly, but is now third. Only the first two are going through, so van Eck has to give everything that he's got to overtake the Belgian Jay Bitterbeer. Vanek pushes Jay Bitterbeer, and in the last turn, Vanek is able to finish second. And with that, he proceeds to the semi finals. That was excited. Halfway the track, there was a guy coming from the inside, but there was no gap. So I, I touched brake, relax, look again, and attack mode. The second heat of the men's quarterfinals with Frenchman Hugo Briada. In the first turn, it already goes wrong for him. He needs to give up his second place. He tries to take back his position, but comes across the Spanish Christopher Bosque Ruano. He stays in third position and does not go through to the semi-finals. It was uh, very difficult. I had a shock with him, so I... I started third after that, and I couldn't make it to, to take the lead again. The third heat with the Spanish Alberto Mingorance Fernandez, German Felix Klausmann, Anton Ostam from Sweden, and Frenchman Simon Roger. Klausmann and Ostam quickly take the lead in this heat. Alberto Mingorance Fernandez wants to end up in the desirable second place. Whatever it takes, so he can go through to the semi-finals in his own country, for his own supporters. In the turn on the stairs, he takes his chance and slips right through. Felix Klausmann and Alberto Mingorance Fernandez go through to the semi-finals. In the last heat, we see Corentin Fousseau, who falls out quickly due to his chain breaking. Two Frenchmen, Lorenzo Suarez and Maxime Barbarin, against the Spanish Gerard Alvarez Ortega, wearing number six. Lorenzo Suarez leads the race, followed by Gerard Alvarez Ortega. This order remains until the very end. The semi finals for the women, with number one German Marion Fromberger, the Spanish Sarah Gay Moreno. The French Marco Borelli and the Norwegian Anna Stray Rongfer. Sarah Gay Moreno takes the lead and Fromberger follows easily. 
During the second lap, Fromberger shows her strengths and goes off with a wide lead right to the final. Spanish Sergei Moreno finishes second. Second half of the women's semi-finals. Ella Holmgaard in the lead, followed by the world champion Colleen Clausur. In the second turn, it goes wrong for Clausur and she goes down. Moments later, the Spanish Sergei Moreno also slips. It was an easy qualify for Elma Holmgaard and Ingrid Bo Jacobson. A big disappointment for our Spanish Sergei Moreno. She finishes third, and for her, the competition ends here. Well, I am very sad to not be in the in the final, but I fall here in the in that curb, and I crash a little bit on my knee, but it's okay. And now, the semi-finals for the men, with world champion Titouan Perrin Gagné, who takes the lead fairly quickly. Van Eck follows in a comfortable second place. The world champion increases the pace. Van Eck is able to stay right behind easily. Jeroen Van Eck shows how strong he is just across the bridge and takes the lead. After a crash in the quarterfinals, he clearly doesn't take any risks. After the second half of the second lap, the world champion and the Dutchman take a wide lead and smoothly go through to the finals. It's my first race and uh, I'm a little bit tired uh, since uh, the first hit, and, uh, but it was a good fight with, uh, with your run. Uh, he is uh, really strong today. And uh, yes, I'm happy uh, to be in the final. Uh, it's, my, it's my goal for, for today. Felix Klausman, Alberto Mignorance Fernandez, Lorenzo Cerez and Gerard Alvarez Ortega. The last semi-final for men and only two tickets left for the highly desirable final. It already goes rough during the first turn. Cerez falls behind and ends up in the last place. In the second turn, Gerard Alvarez Ortega sees his chance to slip away and takes it. The Spanish Alberto Mingorance Fernandez ends up in second place. Cerez is right behind him and is able to overtake Alberto Mingorance Fernandez on the bridge. Felix stays in the lead. Number seven, Alberto Mingorance Fernandez does not give up and is lurking to get a hold of the second place. He strikes in the turn on the stairs, just like he did in the quarterfinals. Cerez is back again, hunting for his place in the finals. Klausman is sure of his spot in the finals, but right behind him the battle is raging. Cerez touches the wheel of Fernandez and goes down. No finals for Lorenzo Cerez. He was already in second place for a while. Cerez finishes disappointed. The final of the World Cup in Barcelona for the women, with Ingrid Bo Jacobson, Marion Fromberger, Ella Holmgaard, and the Spanish Sara Gay Marino. The German Marion Fromberger is strong and takes the lead. The Swedish Elma Holmgaard takes second place after the first turn. Ingrid Bo Jacobsen is third. Marion Fromberger is obviously the strongest cyclist and takes a wide lead. Ella Holmgaard stays in second place easily. Ingrid Bo Jacobson stays strong as well in third position. The Spanish Sergei Moreno is not able to get a hold of a place on the podium.
feels incredible. I can't believe it. I'm so happy about it. Yeah. It was like, you don't know where you are or what the other I've done in the winter, but I've done a good winter and I'm happy with the outcome of it. The men's finals of the UCI Mountain Bike Eliminator World Cup with Tito A. Perin Gagné, Felix Klausman, Alberto Mingorance Fernandez, and Jeroen Van Eck. The German champion takes the lead. Tito A. in second place. Jeroen Van Eck is third. Bridge, the world champion, tries to attack, but the German keeps steady. Jeroen sees a chance to strike and ends up in second place. After the first lap, Klausmann is still in the lead. Jeroen is strong and seeks a moment of attack. At first turn, he strikes and highly increases the pace. And once again, Alberto Mingorance Fernandez overtakes Tituan in the same spot on the stairs. Alberto Mingorance Fernandez once more and passes Klausman quickly. The first win for Jeroen Van Eck in the UCI Mountain Bike Eliminator World Cup. Fast! I mean, coming back from third this time to second and then taking the lead and have a small gap on the finish. I mean, I couldn't dream of a better start of the season. So, yeah, you can see it. I'm smiling. I'm really happy. These are the results for the first World Cup here in Barcelona. To be honest, it was a very tight battle, close finish. As there was last year's World Cup overall winner and world champion, I knew it would be difficult to win. Anyway, I managed to come away with second place. I am very happy with the results. It really motivates me for the next round. The final result for the women and also the ranking of the World Cup. It's really cool to have the jersey and I can't believe it because I don't plan it. I don't plan to win the race. It's really cool. I bet you did, so you should enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, I do. We are happy to see you next time in France in Villard de Long. Goodbye.